Today, I'm going to explain a fantasy, comedy, and drama film from 2012 titled, The Brass Teapot. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with a married couple named John, and Alice, who are currently having financial problems, and they even struggle to pay for meals. To make things worse, John has poor performance selling stuff in the company, and if he keeps things going like this he will get kicked. On the other hand, despite having a charming face and an excellent academic background, Alice keeps failing her job interviews. After returning home, their arrogant landlord Arnie, visits Alice to collect rent money and is very shocked when he learns her financial condition since she used to be one of the most likely to succeed students in the high school. Alice becomes hopeless when she learns that her bank balance will plummet to negative $45 when the landlord, Arnie, cashes their check to pay house rent. Later that night, they go to their ex-high school classmates party where John catches up with Chuck and the couple get drunk since the drinks are free. The next day, while on their way to buy groceries, their car gets hit by a truck, forcing them to pull over when Alice comes across a mysterious antique shop owned by a granny. She sneaks into the shop, but the granny spots her and welcomes her. However, when she picks up the phone, Alice uses this opportunity to steal the brass teapot and then immediately leaves the shop with her husband. The next day, John continues living his boring life as a telemarketer when one of his workmates randomly shows him a picture of his boss who is having an affair. Meanwhile, Alice, who is preparing her next job interview, accidentally hurts her head with a curling iron and sizzles, but somehow the stolen teapot suddenly generates money within it. She finally learns that the brass teapot can generate money based on the pain its owner feels. After that, she purposely hurts herself. On the other side, the boss calls John to his room where he expresses his disappointment towards John's selling performance, thus he has to fire him, despite him having an academic degree and has been working for the company for a long time. The desperate John returns home with a hopeless face. He is shocked when he discovers his house has become very messy and finds a bloodstain on the floor. He immediately runs to the bedroom where he finds Alice is lying unconscious. He tells his wife about his dismissal, but Alice is not worried at all and shows him the teapot. John is surprised when several bucks come out of the teapot right after she slaps him. Later, they learn that the teapot will generate more money if its owner feels more severe pain. However, John is worried and says that the teapot is dangerous, but his wife is already addicted to it. The following day, John decides to return the brass teapot to its rightful owner. However, the antique shop is permanently closed and he rethinks his decision since he needs the money for living. He attempts to sell the teapot on a TV show while Dr. Ling accidentally spots it and is interested in the teapot. However, before he sells it, John makes a deal with Alice to utilize the teapot until they have enough money, to be exact, a million, to pay all the debts. They then purposely hurt themselves in various ways, such as getting a tattoo, going to a dentist, etc. The next day, the couple finally are willing to go to Alice's sister's house to catch up where Alice's mom still cannot believe how John is able to pay off all the debts while working as a telemarketer. John is offended and the lunch situation becomes tense. At this point, the loser couple has officially become rich. Suddenly, two weird men in Harry Potter suits confront the couple and claim that the teapot is their precious family heirloom. While beating John up, they reveal that the granny in the antique shop was their grandmother who just died several days back and they are there to retrieve the teapot. Alice, who manages to hide the teapot, admits that the teapot has been sold and gives all the money to them. The men believe her and then leave the house. Afterwards, they attempt to find the origin of the brass teapot in the library where they discover a book that implicitly tells them that the teapot is actually dangerous. Alice secretly rips out the page so that John doesn't see the warning. After long tormenting months, the couple is slowly able to buy their dream house and car. They even manage to conduct their own house party where John invites his only best friend to taste the brand new vodka. Suddenly, Dr. Ling shows up at their house, expressing his interest in the teapot. But, the couple refuses to sell the money maker to him and Ling warns them that they have to give it to him before it's too late. They don't care and rudely kick him out of the house. That night, Alice and John are having dinner with their former rich friends who initially underestimate them. Afterwards, Arnie visits them and expresses his jealousy towards the couple, who magically become rich within a short period of time. He suddenly snatches the teapot and then throws it to the road before he runs over it with his car. The couple panic, but it doesn't even leave a scratch since it was made from high-quality material. They go to Dr. Ling, who explains the history of the brass teapot. The teapot is very dangerous and he promises to get rid of the teapot if the couple gives it to them since it cannot be destroyed. Alice becomes greedy and refuses to give it to Dr. Ling. Later that night, the weird men break into the house and rob all their money again. 
Turns out that they don't care with the teapot and just want all their money since they understand that it is a very dangerous stuff. Alice tries to retrieve her money, but she faints as one of the men hits her in the head. In the morning, Alice cries in despair because they have lost all the money and the teapot generates less money than before. Because of that, John deliberately goes to a pub and challenges a big fella to fight him. He ends up beaten up badly and battered. One day, Alice learns that the teapot can also generate money based on the nearby people's pain after a skateboarder falls in front of her. Realizing that hurting themselves is not necessary anymore to generate money, they then go to a boxing match and hire someone to get a tattoo. On their way home, Alice becomes uncontrollable and craves for more money. She almost deliberately hits a man with her car, luckily John manages to swerve the car and avoid the collision. Alice becomes enraged and scolds John, yelling at him that he is useless. John is hurt by her words, but the teapot suddenly produces money. Not long after, the couple learns that the teapot can also generate money from psychological pain. Since then, the couple keeps exchanging their darkest secrets to each other. One of the secrets that makes John shocked is that Alice turns out have once let Arnie go down on her. John immediately heads over to Arnie's caravan and reveals the secret in front of his girlfriend, Brandy, which causes the fight between the couple. Arnie spots the teapot and becomes suspicious of it. After revealing all their secrets, they plan to destroy others' marriage to generate more money. They deliver a package to their cocky neighbor that contains their dead dog, who turns out to be dead because of his wife's negligence. John also reveals to his ex-boss's wife that her husband has an affair. These actions make them richer and richer. The heartless couple even plan to betray Alice's sister, but it turns out that they still have empathy and cancel their plan to spoil Alice's sister's secret to her husband. However, Alice is still not satisfied with the money she earns and suggests they kill a pedophile or a drug dealer to earn a massive amount of money from the teapot. They prepare a grave for their potential victim, but suddenly John walks out as he realizes that his wife is turning evil. He secretly visits Drive Ling and asks for his help. The doctor motivates him to hand over the teapot. John returns home and finds the missing page of the book. He threatens Alice that he will kill himself if she does not stop. After a dramatic performance by John, he finally manages to convince her to stop since Alice still chooses him over the money. Later that night, Arnie breaks into and steals the brass teapot from the couple. Since they have to deliver the teapot to Dr. Ling themselves, they go to his caravan the next day where John fights Arnie. Not long after, Brandy shows up and the mad couple attempt to kill John and Alice. Suddenly, the weird men break in, and the gunfight between the mad couple and weird man ensues. Everyone is killed, except Alice and John and the brutal gunshot allows the teapot to generate a huge amount of money. They collect all the money and finally are willing to hand over the teapot to Dr. Ling, who has been waiting outside. After that, the couple decides to share their fortune with their underprivileged friends and move out of the city with their old car. Meanwhile, Dr. Ling throws the brass teapot in the middle of the sea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you're new. And at last, I'll say stay well, stay safe, thanks.